as i step through the gates of rajiv gandhi zoological park i am met with a myriad of faces each telling a different story through their expressions but beyond the surface level of enjoyment it's crucial to recognize that a zoo it not just a place to watch wild animals but also serves as a profound instrument for observing the beauty of nature and educating people on wildlife in the heart of zoological parks there exists a unique set of challenges that can impact the mental and physical health of our beloved zoo inhabitants it's a delicate dance between providing a safe haven for these animals and understanding the complex needs that echo their natural habitats can we all recall the days when we were held captive in our own homes during the covid pandemic stress and isolation settled in casting a shadow of loneliness the absence of social gatherings and monotony of the environment intensified the mental strain yearning for the freedom of the outside world similar is the experience of wild animals kept in captive environments captive animals often exhibit repetitive abnormal behavior known as stereotypy which indicates stress and frustration stereotypy arises when the environment falls short of meeting their innate needs understanding and addressing these behaviors is crucial for their physical and mental health the malabar giant squirrels at this zoo are seen performing stereotypic behavior in the form of circling and pacing absence of a companion and intermal aggression can be a cause of this behavior lack of enrichment can be another major factor leading to this abnormal behavior in contrast to this abnormal behavior is absent among malabar giant squirrels at the conservation breeding center here there is no scope for the males to show intermal aggression as the two males are housed in separate enclosures these squirrels spend most of their time munching on fruits leaves bark hanging upside down playing and taking a nap This pair here can be seen making dray by collecting the twigs and leaves. But for the squirrels in zoo enclosure, there are no plants available for them to make their nest. Thus, less scope for captive wild animals to perform their innate behavior leads to stress, frustration and in turn stereotypic behavior. This prompts us to question how we can manage these beautiful animals more wisely in captivity. understanding their needs providing proper nutrition and creating environments that mimic their natural habitats are crucial steps as we can see that stereotypy among the squirrels in conservation breeding center is absent the same can be achieved for other giant squirrels by housing males in different enclosures individual personalities and preferences should also be considered as individuals can have different coping styles In the form of enrichment the habitat can be designed where these animals can perform species typical behavior by replicating their wild environment by doing so we not only enhance the well-being of these animals but also contribute to the overall education and awareness about wildlife conservation